Everyone in this arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattletales. And here's the star of Tattletales, Bert Condy. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Welcome to Title Tales. It's nice to have you with us. And if you're new with us, please stay. We have a terrific time here. Talk to some of our friends from the banana section. They'll tell you what we mean. We have a studio audience divided into three sections, and they're all going to root for three celebrity couples who, in turn, are going to win money for them. How they do that, we ask questions. They get them right. The money they win is divided among the 125 people in each of their rooting sections, and they get the money today. We have a check writing machine, lays it on them as they walk out the door. That doesn't happen very often. Here are the folks that are going to win the money for him. On my left, winning money for the blue section today, Dolly and Dick Martin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to both of you, Thank Dolly you. and Dick. Dolly just got a nice whistle. Was oh, that for no, Dick? I love it. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're taken. You spoke oh, before. Yeah. Remember, oh, there's yeah. a guy right here in front. Oh, it's, him. Yes, he's here. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Hi, Dick. Hi. Hi there, uh, good guy. You ready to go? Ah, uh, this may be it. It's a, <laughs> what a what a day! You what figured to take one more show to finish you two off, huh? Yes, about that. <laughs> Winning money today for the banana section, ladies and gentlemen, Dareth and Anthony Newley. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you today? Just hello, fine. Good morning. Yes. Ready to go for the banana section? Yes, Bert. Do you, you don't, how do you say that word? Do what? You say, do you say banana? Banana. In, in England, we call it a banana. A banana, yes. And, and we spoke the language first, as you know. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Well, then we'll call it the banana section today. All right, Ollie. Or... <laughs> <laughs> or mm, mm, mm. Winning money today for the red section, ladies and gentlemen, Ginny and Bob Newhart. <laughs> Ginny, your hair goes very well with the section you're in today, and I can't wait for the audience to see what Bob Do is wearing. you have wearing. black roots also? <laughs> when, when he comes out here, he looks like a runaway stop sign, as they say. If you Rumble. fellas are ready, Bob, are you ready, sir? Yes. 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 Okay, now this first question is worth $150, and here it is. Men, if we asked you to write out a list of the first names of all the ladies with whom you ever had a romantic involvement, how long would it take you? Uh, about five minutes? About an hour? All day? Or do you think you'd never be able to remember them all? Uh, 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 may I just ask a question here? Yes, that is a uh, euphemism for... Yes. Uh, oh, I see. Good. Uh, probably... Uh, I just uh, wanted my lady to know that... Uh, yes. Because it is What's a... a we're, we're talking... <laughs> 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 we're a euphemism is when you get a room in a hotel and you okay, have honey, a euphemism. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got it. <laughs> the old euphemism The old euphemism. It's <laughs> a shorter word, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Here yes. we go. If, yeah, we you to, <laughs> if we ask you to write on a list of all the first names of all the ladies with whom you ever had a romantic <laughs> involvement, how long would it take you? About five minutes, about an hour, all day, or do you think you would never be able to remember them all? Think it over, fellas. We'll come back and find out, Ollie. Dolly, we'll start with you. You gotta know that he can never remember, my God. Really? That many, huh? Ah, oh, he was really a lecher. Is a lecher. Really? <laughs> I said was. Is. is. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Really? He better not be right now, but... <laughs> no. Do you think he'll admit it, though, is the question? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna remember, and if he does, he, he lies. So, so he's going to say he would never be able to remember them all. No. Let's bring him on and find out. Dick, now we've asked you to list the first names of all the ladies you've ever had a euphemism with. I mean, uh, in romantic involvement with. Uh, do you think uh, it would take you about five minutes, about an hour, all day, or do you think you'd never be able to remember them all? Never in a million years. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me ask you this for fun. How about faces? Would you remember faces, do you think? Just barely. <laughs> barely, yes. Yeah. In a dim he mist. Backs, maybe. <laughs> what did he say? Moving right along. Uh, thanks, Dick. Uh, with, <laughs> well, that's just, you have a share of the pot and whatever else you want, too. <laughs> <laughs> what's Anthony going to say? And <laughs> we know what you want. 
I think, oh my, I don't know, what did he say? <laughs> I think he's going to say never. Never be, never able, be to able to remember, to remember them all. the first names, the names of oh, no. all of them. Okay, gee, we got a bunch of lovers here. Let's bring Tony on. <laughs> Tony, do you think if we asked you to, to list the first names of all of these ladies that you've been romantically involved with, you could do it in, a, in five minutes, an hour, all day, or do you think you'd never be able to remember them all? Um, without sounding, you know, really awful, and you have to answer these things uh, truthfully, I guess. I, I got to be honest. I don't remember all the ladies first. That's minute. exactly what Derek said. See, dirty young man. Please to tell the truth. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. I Ollie. always say. Jenny, what's Bob going to say? Well, this is going to sound terrible after these two. I mean. <laughs> Is he laughing back then? Yes, he's laughing Never. back then. No, it really would take him five minutes to write it down, but I, uh, it should. Yes, five minutes. But, uh, but, what did you give me? An hour and, what was the other? Uh, what, let's see, we have five minutes, about an hour, yeah. all day, or do you think you'd never be able to remember them all? No, uh, but, no, it should take him five minutes, but... But I would say because his memory isn't that terrific, uh, <laughs> maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. Oh. Okay. He says yes, and he's my friend. <laughs> he agrees with Whatever you. you the fellow in the front row that's all right. You're going to say about a, an about hour. an hour is the answer then. Oh, maybe five minutes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Five minutes. Five minutes. You're going to say, say what he thinks I said, right? No, no. I'm asking him the question now. So you have to figure out. Five minutes. Five You're going to say, he's going to say five minutes. Yeah. All right, let's bring him on. <laughs> he, he's only, shh, 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 shh. Here he comes. Bob. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. if we asked you to write out a list <laughs> of the he's first names of yes. all the ladies <laughs> with whom you ever had a romantic involvement, would it take you about five minutes, about an hour, all day, or do you think you'd never be able to remember them all? Well, I have two questions. <laughs> <laughs> is there a lawyer in the is house? This, is this since being married or before married? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> dang, dang, dang. Dang. I think it means uh, just any time you like, Bob. <laughs> uh, this is just a romantic involvement. Right? Yes, yeah, uh -huh. A quick you Actual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> any way you look at it. <laughs> Every day. I would say... <laughs> What else could they call it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't talk during your answer, did Sorry. I? Sorry. That's true. <laughs> How do we know? We couldn't hear. <laughs> uh, I would say if I misspelled the name ten times, it might, make uh, might take me five minutes. That's it. <laughs> See, now you guys laugh. We split that three ways and we'll come back and split all the rest of them in a moment. It'll take us a little more than five minutes, though, so come back. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it's a little, little crazy here today, folks. This is question number two coming up. Gentlemen, if you are ready, we have a three-way tie. Okay, and I, the rest of the show will probably take a little more than five minutes. Bob, you'll be relieved to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> this question is worth $150 as well. Men, your gal's away and you're feeling mighty low. Oh. Are you, are you more likely to look for the company of friends or stay alone? And there is no other choice on my card. Uh, <laughs> Your no, gal's away. No time for a quick euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't said how long she's going to be gone, have we? Your gal's away and you're feeling low. Are you more likely to look for the company of friends or stay alone? Okay, that's the choice. Think about it, fellas. Enjoy the music back there. I must explain that the fellas in the back, are uh, those earphones, they're listening to music so that they cannot hear what we're saying out here. So we will now start with Dareth. What is uh, Tony going to say to this? I, um, would he uh, look I, he for would, the company he, of friends or yes, stay alone? Yes, yes, he would. He, he would want to be with his friends and... Sure. Okay. Company of his friends. Men friends. No, girls no. too. Girls too. Or couples. Or couples. Friends. He has, uh, he has friends. lady friends as well as men friends. Sure. Yeah. Some people don't. Some yeah, men don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He'll go for the company of friends. Let's bring him on. Tony, what are you going to do now? Dareth is, is gone. Uh, mm -hmm. And you're feeling kind of lonely and... What are you going to do? You're going to look for the company of friends, or are you going to stay to yourself? Um, I would stay by myself. That's not what she said. She said the company of friends. Would you like to explain that to him, Dareth, perhaps? 
<laughs> perhaps well. <laughs> back at the house, perhaps, we could <laughs> discuss it. <laughs> no, but honey, I mean, when you, when you went to Canada in November and I was in the hospital, you, you, you went out with people and oh, saw no. people. And yeah, but that's on the road, babe. I mean, when we're at home, I wouldn't... Uh, sure, you'd uh, see Dick and Dolly and Bob and G. You'd see friends, our friends. <laughs> No, he wouldn't. <laughs> you now would? that he's thought it over, he's feeling a little, little poorly about it. Stay home and look after think... Shelby. Could you ask somebody He'd else the question? Yes, we're not going to pick on him anymore. Sorry about that, Tony. Beep. Next time, go out with some friends, okay? <laughs> Jenny, what's Bob going to say to this? Oh, wow. You know, he used to stay by himself, and he used to upset me if I couldn't go with him. But now he has some friends. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I don't know. It's an awful Yeah, hit series will do wonders for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but I would still think he'd stay by himself. You'll say he'd stay alone. All right, let's bring him on. Bob, what are you going to oh. do now? Uh, we're, gonna, we're coming down to you. Jenny's uh, going to be away. And you're home. I'd like to explain, by the way, that uh, before or after marriage, that's just kind of having some fun with a question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we were going to put a disclaimer yeah. on the end of the show anyway. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Newhart's <laughs> remarks do not necessarily reflect <laughs> the right. right. station's policy. Right. Uh, Ginny is away, Bob. Or my what are you policy do? now, matter of fact. <laughs> are you going get, to uh, get some company? Are you going to have the company of friends, or are you going to stay alone? Uh, I believe uh, Ginny would say that I'm going to stay alone. That's what she said, and you're right. Absolutely correct. That's interesting, though, because he said he believes that I would say. Now, it was what you would say. Would you what say What would alone? you say, Bob? What no, would you I do? would say that uh, th th in this... In this one instance, uh, we'd probably agree that I would stay alone and she would say I would stay alone. Yes. The, the, the yeah, that's what you are, said, too. And questions yeah. are worded And in you're right ways. again. Yes. But you don't get any more money. You just, you're just right once. Okay. Dolly, what's Dick going to say? We know what we got to work out. We got to work out whether he thinks girls or guys. You know, because I got a lot of trouble last time getting it wrong. You know what I mean? When you said, you know, get oh, romantic and everything. I'm saying for the company to look, would you go, are you more likely to look for the company of friends? Friends. Or stay alone. <laughs> he loves his friends. He always says, uh, wives come and go, but friends are always there. Yeah, friends. You'll say. You'll say. He does. That's a good old-fashioned American homily, isn't it? I mean, that goes right along with, you know, a bird in the hand is worth it, and all of those things. Thank sure. You, <laughs> regular ben wives come and go, I but a friend's a friend. You'll say company of friends. Let's bring them on. <laughs> Dick, uh, yeah. Dolly's going to be away for a while. Um, what are you going to do? Are you more likely to look for the company of friends or stay, uh, or stay alone? Oh, I look for the company of friends if she goes to the store. That's it. You're right. <laughs> Dolly and Dick are right. Jimmy and Bob are right. We'll split the pot in half and we'll change places at halftime, if you will, ladies. Step to the rear. We'll bring the gentleman out front. We'll have the second half of Tattle Tales in a moment. Come back. See you in a second now. Okay, we have changed place, places. Here we are with the second half. Ladies, if you're ready to go, we have two-thirds of a tie. Ginny, you are, you're tied with Dolly with $125. And, Dareth, you and Tony have to catch up. You have 50 bucks. This one's worth 150 as well. Some people lead lives that are simple. Others simple. lead lives that are complex. I don't know where this is going. What about you? Do you prefer to live a life with a simple plot or a complica complicated plot? <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> Some people lead lives that are simple. Others lead lives that are again. complex. What about you? Do you prefer to live a life with a simple plot, a simple, uncomplicated life, or a complicated life? Okay? That's what, the, that's what it means. Go away and think about it. I think. Wasn't any better the second no. time. <laughs> <laughs> really dumb question. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smooth this out. What we're saying here, folks, is do you, like, do you prefer to live a home life or a heck... Yes, I Bob, we're asking you since you seem to understand it. <laughs> and would rather not care to hear the question again if you don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> getting into it. I'm trying not to clear it up anymore. <laughs> What's like going to say to this? <laughs> oh, you're me? Yes. Oh, you're just kind of looking generally at all of us. That's why. That's why you don't do Broadway anymore. Because, <laughs> because of the way you read that card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it got me out of the army, Verumpa. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> uh, a simple life, and I do. Do you lead a simple life? I lead a simple life, and I prefer to lead a simple life. Now, we're asking, uh, we're asking the ladies. We're asking Ginny, technically, but yeah. 
That will go, since she's with you a lot. <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of life the other two ladies uh, care to live, but I, Ginny and I care, care to lead a simple life. Right, I got it. Let's, let's bring her on <laughs> before it gets too complicated. Hello, Ginny. Yes. Listen, do you prefer to live a life with a simple plot or a complicated plot? Plot. Well, well this, isn't a, this isn't a plot in the ground. I mean, this no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if the hole gets any deeper than we're digging now. Oh, okay. No, you know what we mean. A hectic, complicated life or a simple homebody style Well, life. I get in a lot of trouble if I said simple because it's complicated and I like it. Oh. There you go. See, what? that was her answer. Oh, Bob Newhart. What did you say? You, see, you obviously said simple. Like, he said what? simple. Why? Uh, a simple plot. Pardon? I'm just, I'm just... I wasn't paying any attention. I was just uh, <laughs> restating what Ginny said, and she's questioning as Are to why you said Are you saying that we're not happy? <laughs> I don't have to say that. What is, what is one thing to do with the other? I said, the, the question, it's an operative word. That's a very good thing that Bert said earlier. One operative word, what kind of life would you prefer to lead? Not that we do lead. And I think we both would prefer to lead a simpler life. I certainly would. If it means <laughs> dropping you, then that's, that's the way it's going to be. <laughs> We're going to move right along here. Uh, Dick, um, I don't blame you, because that's the way Eddie and Debbie started. Uh, <laughs> Dick, uh, what's, uh, what's Dolly going to say to this? Uh, I don't know anyone uh, more simple than Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dick. So I'd say a simple life. You'd say uh, she, would, she would prefer to lead a simpler life. Yes. Okay, let's bring her on now. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> Uh, would you prefer to live a life with a simple plot or a, or a life with a complicated plot? Oh, boy. I don't want to break out more than I am already. A simple life, definitely. That's it. That's what the man said. <laughs> we don't need a simple life, but I'd like to. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You have a share of the pot. You're the only one that does so far, Tony. How about Dareth? What's she going to say? Oh, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, Dareth will say simple. Really? Yeah. Do you live a simple life, the two Oh, yes. Terribly simple. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Just the two of them in the shelter. <laughs> Let's bring Dareth on before he gives me another dirty look like that. Here she comes now. Dareth, uh, do you prefer to live a life with a simple plot or a life with a complicated plot? Uh, the way I live, which is... Um... <laughs> I think it's simple. That's it. You're right. <laughs> See, she handled that so well. Gareth and Tony and Dolly and Dick split the pot in half. We'll come back with our $300 question in a moment and see who's going to win today's title sales. You come back, too, after this match. All right, this is a deceptive question. It's worth $300. It will decide today's game because it's a close game. And uh, here it is, ladies. It's for you. Which one of you would you say has more common sense, you or your fellow? Oh, sounds easy, huh? Which one of you would you say has more common sense, you or your guy? Think that one over, ladies. We'll find out in a minute. Off they go. Tony, we'll start with you. What's Dareth oh, going to say? I was afraid you yeah. would, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's not nitpicking, but by common sense, you mean just day-to-day -day practical yes. kind of thinking? I think so, yes. Practical mm -hmm. way of doing and looking at things. And... Mm, it's not true. I heard the answer. Uh, that was, uh, <laughs> it's okay, the girls aren't here, it's a, uh, does it? Uh, <laughs> you see, what's so tough is, is we're trying to find out what she will say, you see. Yes. Uh, that is the object of the game. That is, probably, uh, thank you. I, uh, I, have, I wasn't sure. I, you, Tony. I don't think it's true, dear. I wish it was true. Um, well, I'll say, um, out of the two of us, she will say. She will say me. Yeah, of course she will. Yeah. Yeah. She'll say you. Yeah. Let's bring her on and see if she does. Here she comes now. Dareth, between you and Tony, who would you say has more common sense? Oh, this is a rough one, honey. I think it's me. That's not what he said. Well, there goes part of the tie. <laughs> Sorry about that, Dareth. Uh, Bob, uh, what's Ginny going to say to this one? Uh, I would say, to make it uh, quick and brief, I would say, Ginny would say, I have more common sense. Really? Yeah. Do you think you really do? Yes. Yes. Obviously, or I wouldn't have said that. 
That was just a whim. I just went on that <laughs> impulse. Let's well, I was trying to make it fast because they told us to make it fast. That's true. Ginny, yeah. let's let's bring on Ginny and see what she says. Ginny, <laughs> between you and Bob. <laughs> Dear, I'm laughing. Who has uh, more common sense? <laughs> I'm Bob. That's right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> All right, now, here comes an interesting situation because, uh, Dick, if you get this correctly, you've got it. If not, Bob and, and Ginny can pull it out and win it right here. Uh, it's definitely me. <laughs> There's no question. <laughs> Tony got That's hysterical. That's it, me. You're, you seem very sure of that, That's sir. That's it. That's it. She can't find her way to the bathroom. I see. <laughs> Let's bring her on and see if she can find her way out here. Here she comes now. Shh. No pressure now, Dolly. This will decide the game. You understand that? Uh-huh. Uh, who has more common sense, you or Dick? I went on record that I do not agree with him, but he said he does. That's it. You got it. Dolly and Dick, Ginny and Bob split the pot. However, time is up and Dick and Dolly win it for the blue section. We'll come back in a moment and let you know exactly how much Dick and Dolly have won. Please come back. See you in a second. The blue section with Dick and Dolly, they win it. $350, we had 1,000 for a total of 1,350 big ones for the blue section. Thank you all, you were splendid. Thank you too, we'll see you next time. Bird Comedy saying so long everybody. See you on Title Day. This is Gene Woods speaking for Tattletales, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. 